Good afternoon, Central Texas. The time is now 517, and if you've noticed just then, that flag on the very bottom left corner of the scene, you can barely see it, but there it is. That flag was blowing quite a bit, and also this camera on our Killeen Bureau weather camera in Harker Heights, it was shaking a little bit. It was because of those winds, and those winds are going to be strong throughout the course of the day. I actually, we actually did get a couple photos of some trees being knocked down. I even got a Snapchat from a friend of mine who had part of her fence knocked down because of those strong winds as well. And there you see what I'm talking about. Cameron, you guys have the stronger winds right now at around 31 miles an hour, a little bit lighter in Mejia as well as Fairfield. Same story for you guys, Waco as well as Temple Belton, as well as Marlin. And then, yeah, that's going to be pretty much the story throughout the course of the evening, folks, because we do have that wind advisory in effect through 7 o'clock because some of those winds could gust up to 50 mile an hour. And later on tonight, I will have the latest on who had the higher wind gusts today. And the reason for those strong winds is because we have this trough well off to the east, and then we have this ridge off to the west. There's a shorter distance between that trough and that ridge, which means a stronger pressure gradient, which means a stronger pressure gradient, which means stronger wind coming into our direction from the northwest. Once that trough shifts off to the east, that's when those winds will start to slow down, and that won't happen until we get to Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Looking at mid 40s for lows tonight, as well as lower 70s for highs tomorrow, but as we go through that, it's going to be a nine on the joint meter because those winds will be slightly lighter as well. Baylor taking on Texas temperatures getting to those mid 70s by the time that game ends kickoff at around 11 a.m. And on your Halloween temperatures are going to be hovering around those middle 70s and upper 70s as well. Morning lows though, we're going to be looking at those lows getting only to those upper 50s. Yeah, Leslie's a big fan of that and I would have to agree as well, but I'm not a big fan of our next system which could bring in some rain chances for Wednesday into Thursday. Guys, I got to get the leggings and the boots out for Saturday morning. Get them out. Get the coats. I can't Watch. wait. No, I don't like 44.